Next up, this was fascinating because when we just talked about regulation and the government stepping in, this is why I'm excited about this lady. She came in as a course. It is a Wyoming senator. Everything great happens in Wyoming as far as cryptocurrency. So Cynthia Loomis, the incoming Republican senator, appeared on the popular Bitcoin podcast called What Bitcoin Did. I like that podcast. I don't listen to it that much, kind of long space, but uh, it's got some great information. And really what it does is it peer, lets us peer into the mind of people who are in Bitcoin, especially this uh, Senator, Miss Loomis. And it was pretty great because she talks about that she's a libertarian, which is, that's the, the original, the, those, that's the OGs of Bitcoin. Uh, OGs, original gangsters, if for people who are outside the United States. And uh, they're the ones that, like, you know, libertarian anarchists, those are the ones like, we like Bitcoin. Now it went to retail, and now it's coming into institutions, which I think will uh, bring us way up. But she believes that Bitcoin would turn out to be a backstop for nations when everything crashes. What is she talking about? Well, she says here, if we reach the point where we have ourselves uh, so much that things start crashing down, the black swan event occurs, there is a backstop available to every government, and that's Bitcoin. And it makes sense, right? Because if you're going to have a bunch of quantitative easing with central banks, they're just going to keep printing and printing and printing. And then the dollar or the euro or, the, or whatever they're printing, the purchasing power goes down and down and down and down. With Bitcoin, that doesn't happen. You got 21 million and you're stuck at that. That's it. And actually, you don't have 21 million because you're going to have 21 million. Another, I mean, it's going to take a long time to get all the way out to 21 million. Plus, we've already lost between 2 and 6 million because people have thrown away their hard drives back in the early days. So uh, it is... It is a great thing. And it's not just you have one Bitcoin. Remember, it can be a hundred million Satoshis for one Bitcoin. So if you're not familiar with it, uh, think of it like pennies to a dollar. You got a hundred pennies to a dollar. There's a hundred million Satoshis to one Bitcoin. So there's a lot to go around. Uh, and I, I think as time goes on, when someone says, I want Bitcoin, they're like, wow, that's crazy. What are you, like a trillionaire? That's just, that could be, who knows? Anyhow, she believes that Bitcoin can work along, alongside fiat currency and act as a store of value, which I think is pretty interesting. So you're going to have both of those. So the dollar is kind of like the every the everyday transaction, buy your cup of coffee, and then Bitcoin's going to be the store of value. Sure, I can see that. Why not? And this is why I know she knows what she's talking about. Loomis was among the first selected few politicians to oppose the recently introduced Stable Act posed by Congress Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib. She made it clear that the current provision in the act made it a regulatory capture against the free market. And she states, I'm not in favor. This certainly won't help the unbanked. I believe in competition, not picking winners and losers. We did a video about this before. I thought it was a great opportunity for Brian Brooks of the OCC to sit those people down and just say, hey, look, you guys, this is what really is going on. Let me educate you on crypto and digital assets. And, uh, you know, hopefully that can still happen. But that's why I like Miss Loomis here. Looks like she knows exactly what she's talking about. And the reason I know that is because she says stuff like this. In the case of U.S. currency, inflation is baked into the Federal Reserve's plan for the U.S. dollar. So it's no wonder that our buying power is eroded. And she's right. I think you've probably seen this on my channel a couple of times. But this is the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar from 1913 to 2013. So this is when the Federal Reserve was created, up here. And then look what happened. <laughs> went all the way down. Then 1933, executive order, makes it illegal to hold gold coin, which we were just talking about, where they took all the gold back. Then Bretton Woods said, hey, let's make the dollar the US, or the US dollar, the reserve currency of the world. And it happened. And then it just kept going down because the Federal Reserve kept screwing around. And then of course now, and this is in 2013, it's worth about a nickel as opposed to a dollar. And uh, I can tell you right now, it's a lot, lot less than that. So I believe that uh, Miss Loomis here knows exactly uh, what she is talking about. So to finish up, Senator Loomis promised that she would spend most of her time educating her colleagues on why Bitcoin is a future and why the government needs to work towards an inclusive regulatory policy. We need more people like this. So I would just like to ask you for one thing. If you could go over to Twitter uh, on my, you can either you can either follow me or follow Miss Loomis, but I have her link. Uh, as far as like her profile and just give her a follow because I think she's one of the great ones uh, that could really do a lot of good for our space. All right, let's move on to our next piece. <laughs>